Murder in the south of the border is running out of control. From the U.S., if you go south, you get very high rates of murder. I'm not talking about Mexico. I'm talking about Jamaica, El Salvador, Guatemala. They all have murder rates five to ten times higher than that of Mexico. Yet, you don't see many people complaining about their trips to Jamaica and saying that it's a very risky country, where in fact it is. So Mexico gets a bad rap about being so many murders due to uh, problems of drugs and so on. The fact is, compared with many other countries in the region, Mexico is very safe. In fact, Mexico is a lot safer than Brazil. Nobody talks about the high murder rates in Brazil, which there is. In addition, Mexico also gets a bad rap about kidnapping. Yes, in terms of number of kidnaps, Mexico is now in the second place in the world after Colombia. But when you factor the fact that Colombia has a much smaller population, Mexico doesn't look that bad. In fact, Mexico is pretty good. The most of the kidnapping that happens in Mexico do not happen to the general Western public that come to visit to Mexico. It happens to the migrants that are passing through Mexico coming from the south of the border. In fact, last year, there were 12,000 people uh, kidnapped uh, who were coming, illegal immigrants who were going through Mexico to get to El Norte. And uh, these are the people who had to pay up to uh, get them safely back wherever they are going. And a large proportion of those kidnapping did not happen by organized criminals, but by the police themselves. So the looking at the numbers of kidnapping and looking at the murders, blaming Mexico for lower uh, Western visitors is the wrong thing to do.